Hello guys, uh, today we're going to be making a simple infinite scroll app with React and React Hooks and it's going to look like this at the end. So if I refresh the page, you're going to see the boxes appear in each 100 milliseconds. They'll have a different color and also a different text or I guess number. So that's how our final app is going to look like and if we keep scrolling it's going to keep adding the boxes all the time. So yeah, that's the thing we're going to be building today. So this is probably going to be really simple to make because the only thing we're going to need here is just like a single div for our actual box. But let's go to styles, add those first. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna style the section. So we're gonna have display flex because divs are gonna or boxes are gonna appear under each other and we want them next to each other. And we also wanna add <coughs> the flex wrap. So once they don't have enough space to be next to each other, they're gonna wrap under each other. If that makes sense. So we need that, and then we're gonna style the box. Also, we're gonna use display flex to center a paragraph we're gonna have inside of it, which is gonna be a number. And then for the paragraph, so something like that. And I'm gonna change this to hero. And we can add the box for now just so you guys can see it. So this is our original box that we have, but we're gonna get a random color each time. So the first thing we need to do for that, oh, let me make this bigger again. We're gonna import use state again. And we need one state for all our boxes. So our boxes are gonna be stored in this array. That. So we're going to make this an array and we're also going to pass some object inside of this which is just going to be a background or a random background that we're going to get. And right now we can just set this to like, let's see, let's do 777 let's say. And we're gonna need to map over our, over our boxes, sorry. Right now we only have one, but we're gonna have multiple boxes here. So maybe let's just make that first. We also need, for this, we need to import a uh, hook called use effect. Okay, and that's gonna be dependent on our boxes. So what we want to do here, we want to, we don't want to set a timeout that's going to run once, we want to set an interval that's going to run every however seconds, could be one second, 100 milliseconds, whatever you guys prefer. So we need to set our boxes 
So first, let's add the state. So this is the our boxes state we have here. So right now, the first thing we need to do is pass the array, do the spread operator to get all the previous boxes we can have, like so. Then we add a comma here, pass an object, which we have right here, which is a background. And we're gonna set this background to something completely random all the time. So for that, we can pass a string here that's gonna be a hashtag, and we're, we can append some things to it. So this is gonna be where our random color is gonna come from. Okay, I can't type. So times, and let's do zero. So six times like this. <clears throat> that to zero and then we're gonna do two string like so and then here we will need to map inside our boxes so this box we're gonna just cut it from uh, right now and then do the map and then just paste this thing so we can do <coughs> boxes.map. So for each box. And if you instead of curly braces here add parentheses, this is already gonna return whatever whatever's inside of this map. In our case, we're gonna paste this. Then our paragraph is actually I forgot to pass the index here. So we're going to use this index for two things. One of them is key, because each React element needs to have a key if you're inside some loop or map. So our key is going to be index, and our number here is also going to be index. Like so. And for the background, we didn't add a background to the box here. We're going to add it here because we're gonna get the background from our state and it's always gonna be random. So we can add style to this box right here. And then we can set the background equal to this background inside of our object, which would be, since we're inside the map, that would be box.background. Okay, and there it goes. It's we're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> this is just gonna break our page, and it's too fast. We don't want that. So let's comment this out for a second. And so before our state, what we wanna do, we wanna have an interval that's gonna run every, let's say, a hundred milliseconds right now. We can do set interval and then do like let's say let's say one second, right? And inside of that we're gonna paste this. So if we do that, that's gonna appear a box each second. But as you can see, everything is lagging. It looks like it's lagging, and that's because we're never clearing the actual interval here. So instead of doing this, we're gonna make a const or a variable, which we're we're probably gonna call that something like we can call it interval. That's fine. And then that's gonna be equal to set interval here. And then under this, so line 13, under that, we can clear the interval, and that's gonna fix the issue with the lag here. <laughs> this looks weird. I'm sorry for that. So we can return an arrow function here and clear the interval. And we're gonna pass our variable name. So if I refresh that, now that's completely gone. It still doesn't look exactly the same as the example we had. 
So we're gonna make this faster, definitely. But before we do that, there's one thing we need to add for them to be animating, and we can do that through CSS as well. So we're gonna use keyframes for the animation. So let's call this fade, for example. So you can mess with this number. I'm just gonna do 800 milliseconds here. We have fade, which is gonna be name of our animation of keyframes. And we're gonna have easing out. And then we can make the keyframes here. And this is gonna go from opacity zero to opacity one. Like so. So even if I refresh the page now, you can see them animating, but it's just going way too slow. So you guys can't really see it. But if we switch this to 100 right now, there you go. They have a fade effect. And also once you keep scrolling, they're just gonna keep appearing and each of them has its own index, which is just a different number. Also, if you don't want to make the infinite scroll, you just want this type of project and you want to stop it at any point. So what you can do is you can wrap this whole interval and return. So if I make space here so you guys can see it. So we can add an if statement here to check for some number. So if you want to show maybe like, let's say 20 of these. We can check for a boxes.length since boxes is an array. So, so if this is less than 21, let's say. And then we end that after the return. Now, if we save, it's gonna show only 20 boxes and it's gonna stop completely. So everything that's less than 21 and 20 is the last one and if you want to do that you can do it as well you can mess with the number you can do like 500 or 501 so it's gonna keep going until it hits 500 but this box is always gonna be gray at beginning because we set the state to that so our first box is always gonna be gray so again if you want to fix this you can copy paste this thing completely and remove this. Now our first box is also gonna be random each time we ref refresh the page. It's not gonna be a single color we had at the beginning. And yeah, if you if you want an infinite scroll, just remove the if statement. If you want to stop it at some point, you can just do the if check here. And yeah, there you go. Now if you keep scrolling, you can increase the values here. This is just 100 milliseconds right now. You can make that. <clears throat> you can make that as you like. You can also mess with animations with higher values. But yeah, that's the, the app we were building. It's pretty small app. There's not much happening here. But I think it looks really cool. Something nice to have in your projects. So yeah. That's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.